Good day, everyone. I hope you have a beautiful day. Let me introduce myself. My name is Miss Shanley Cabrera, or you can call me Miss Shanley or Miss Cabrera. So prepare your pens and papers or any writing materials as we are going to start our lesson. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. Let's begin. What is differentiation? To begin, differential calculus is a subfield of calculus that studies the rate of which quantities change. The process of finding the derivative is what we call differentiation. In differentiation, we have rules to follow, namely the constant rule, the power rule, the constant multiple, the sum rule, the um, product rule, quotient rule, um, trigonometric functions, exponential function. Um, in higher order derivative, we have the chain rule. In our example for today, we will follow all of these rules and some of these will be used. First step is we are going to find the de derivatives of e to the power of x in x and negative 5 cos x. So, the derivative of e to the power of x is still e to the power of x as the exponential rule states, while the derivative of sin x is cos x as showed in the picture down below. It is the trigonometric function and the derivative of cos x is negative sin x. So for the e to the power of x sin x, we need to use the product rule. We have the derivative of e to the power of x times sin x plus the derivative of sin x times e to the power of x and we can get the answer of e to the power of x sin x plus cos as the derivative of sin x cos x e to the power of x and so for the derivative of negative 5 cos x we just need to find the derivative of cos x which is negative sin x and we cannot forget the constant which is the negative 5 and put it outside of the parenthesis and times them we can get 5 sin x after we get the derivative we need to combine the two. So, we have e to the power of x sin x plus e to the power of x cos x plus 5 sin x. As there are no like terms, this is our first derivative. We just need to set this aside. We are not yet done. We are going to find the second derivative as what it is asked in the problem number one. So with the same process of the first part, we will going to find the second derivative. In getting the derivative of e to the power of x in x, we are going to use the product rule. So the derivative of e to the power of x times sin x plus the derivative of of sin x times e to the power of x can get e to the power of x sin x plus cos x e to the power of x. Next for the e to the power of x cos x, still we're going to use the product rule. So the derivative of e to the power of x times cos x plus cos x times e to the power of x is e to the power of x cos x minus e to the power of x sin x. Lastly, for the getting of derivative of 5 sin x, we just need to get the derivative of sin x which is cos x as the trigonometric function rule number 7 state. And we cannot forget the constant true the constant number five. So the answer is five cos x. After getting their derivatives, apply the sum and difference rule. Place all derivatives that you have solved. Five 
For e to the power of x since we have e to the power of x sin x plus e to the power of x cos x plus e to the power of x cos x minus e to the power of x sin x plus 5 plus 5 cos x and cancel all like terms and combine the e to the power of x cos x we have and the answer our final answer is 2 e to the power of x cos x plus 5 cos x so this is the summary of how do we solve the problem one problem one asks to find the second derivative of the function and first we need to get first the first derivative which is e to the power of x since x plus e to the power of x cos x plus 5 sin x and next is we need to get the second derivative which is our final answer which is 2 e to the power of x cos x plus 5 cos x this is the answer of problem number one